it's an absolute honor to have two exceptional leaders sandeep papat and sunil jha joining me on this podcast today sandeep papat is the senior director r&d software at idea forge he is a visionary leader with over 20 years of experience in developing intelligent systems that redefine human interaction with technology previously he held a leadership role at samsung r&d bangalore where he spearheaded ai ml solutions powering samsung's voice assistant bixby with deep expertise in embedded systems iot ai ml sandeep continues to drive innovation and shape the future of cutting edge technology at idea forge sunil jha is the senior director r&d hardware at idea forge he is a seasoned engineering leader with 25 plus years of diverse experience in aerospace off highway and heavy equipment domains at idea forge he oversees r&d hardware driving innovation and excellence in cutting edge technology sunil has previously contributed to prestigious organizations such as drdo john deere textron and class wherein he owned his expertise in engineering solutions and advanced systems his commitment to innovation and leadership continues to shape the future of mechanical engineering at idea forge both of them are at the forefront of driving innovation and excellence within their respective departments and together they are helping shape the future of idea forge with their deep expertise and wealth of experience they not only lead their teams to push the boundaries of technology but also contribute to building a culture of growth and collaboration in this episode we'll delve into their remarkable journeys understand what led them to join idea forge and gain insights into their vision of innovation leadership and the road ahead uh, so sandeep let's start with you what inspired you to join idea forge and take on the responsibility of leading the r&d software team uh, thanks ashima so even though i've worked throughout my career primarily in software development it has always been in the context of products and solutions like wireless sensor networks iot or smartphones uh, which involved you know a deep integration of hardware software and communication interfaces uh, optimized together to create the best performance of the system so in many ways you know joining idea forge to work on uav systems felt like a right progression in that same journey right uh, also i was very much inspired by the growth story of idea forge uh being an indian deep tech product company uh which is creating and delivering impact uh in daily lives of our customers thanks sundeep yes. sunil your turn can you share your story of joining idea forge and what attracted you to this role thanks yashima well um uav is a futuristic field and as we know it's growing with a cagr of more than 25% Uh, globally idea forge is a technology driven company very deeply rooted to the uh, ground who would not like to be part of such a growing organization and growing field coming from a defense background it felt pride again to come back to the home home again working for a product which is being used by the uh, indian defense and also for civilians so therefore building the nation Uh, is very important and i would love to be part of that and that, that was the aspiration for joining idea forge awesome so both of you bring a wealth of experience to idea forge how have you used your expertise to create meaningful contributions and drive impactful outcomes within your respective teams yeah so one of the key things that i've learned throughout my leadership journey is that our people and teams are our biggest strength to whatever we achieve So one of my uh, key objectives since joining Idea Forge is that how do I become an enabler for my team? You know how do I create the right set of opportunities and challenges for them, uh, for them to deliver the best, uh, and how do I empower them to take decisions and uh, come up with solutions on their own? Right. So that has been uh, one of the uh, learnings. Uh, secondly, as we are increasing the scale and complexity of our products and solutions. Uh, we've invested a lot in coming up with the right set of processes tools and automations uh, to achieve efficiency and productivity in whatever we are doing right uh, and finally over the last uh, year or so we have significantly increased our footprint in uh, ai competency both from developing solutions that are ai enabled as well as leveraging ai 
for improving our productivity. So those, I would say, are the key learnings that I've applied throughout my career. Uh, well, um, as, as we know, UAV is a very multidisciplinary field uh, as a product uh, with lots of multi-physics involved in it. Uh, with my experience of more than two and a half decade um, uh, of product design and development as a part of research and development, um, I'm trying to enable here that the right methods, processes, and tools are in place. So, uh, so that takes care of uh, the development and progress on its own with a limited uh, human interface. One. Uh, with a collaboration of intra-functional or cross-functional with an effective and efficient communication, which is very key for our success, is what we are trying to, uh, uh, to, to focus on. Um, uh, with an approach of uh, P3 and C2, I famously call that, so three times P's uh, and two times C's, so uh, product, process, and people, uh, collaboration and communication. Having a focus on these five driving element uh, uh, is what I have learned across in my uh, experience and that I want to enable here. Um, giving, as Sandeep mentioned, the, the, the biggest priority for us is people here because people are asset to the organization. So giving more focus to people who build the product, who build the method and processes is something that I want to drive and I aspire to drive to take Idea Forge to the very next level. So let's talk about the workplace culture at Idea Forge. How would you describe it and in what ways does it encourage collaboration between the R&D software and hardware team? So when you see the core founding team and leadership, you know, still working together uh, after 18 uh, odd years and still working with the same energy and passion, uh, I think it sets the right culture and tone for the entire organization to follow in terms of uh, collaboration, right? So one of the key things that I noticed uh, right from joining Idea Forge is that in any meeting or any discussion, the idea or the solution that is being discussed is of primary importance and the person who is uh, presenting it is secondary. So this freedom for anyone in the organization to openly express their ideas discuss them with mutual respect towards each other's point of views, even if they may be conflicting at times, right? Um, and the empowerment to follow up on these ideas uh, and take ownership. So I think this is what drives collaboration uh, uh, across teams. So I feel that, you know, these uh, healthy practices uh, which have been institutionalized in our culture um, are what enable collaboration not just between you know, R&D hardware and software team, but also across other multifunctional teams such as product management, uh, experience design, sales, or HR. Uh, as Sandeep mentioned, here in Idea Force, the culture is very flat, very flexible. So um, uh, here, the more important is what, the, so what is said, what idea is brought on the table is very important, irrespective of who brought this. And if you look at the culture here, from CEO to the technician level, everyone follows the same. Um, the second thing, across uh, the intra-functional inside R&D, uh, what we have introduced here is a system integration concept. So that while you can be very good in developing uh, or designing the hardwares, while you can be very good in developing and designing uh, software or electronics, unless these are integrated as a multidisciplinary field, it does not constitute a great product. And that is something which we are trying through a system integration approach. And that has been working quite successfully in recent past. And I aspire that it continues further. Great. Secondly, uh, what core values or principles drive innovation within your respective teams? So, uh, as Sunil said, we are a multidisciplinary product company, technology. Uh, so, end-to-end -end understanding, be it of the use cases, be it of the technology verticals that we are working in, or be it of the system integrations, right, is the foundation for any kind of innovation that we do. Right? So that's something that I emphasize within the teams that you should have an end-to-end -end understanding uh, of the overall system. Second, I feel that 
a very strong customer orientation and empathy towards the customer is fundamental for any R&D team to deliver meaningful uh, solutions that impact the lives of our customers and solve their real pain points. So I think this understanding of the customer and their problems is a, a second primary uh, tenet of innovation. Uh, and finally, creating the environment where people feel free to express their ideas, uh, innovative ideas, and also are empowered to follow through on their ideas, to implement them and take them to the product, right? That is the greatest catalyst for innovation. So it's just one thing to give an idea. Anyone can come up and give an idea. But are we creating the right environment for them to follow through on those ideas and deliver them as uh, products or solutions? So I feel these are the key principles that I try to imbibe in my team for innovation. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, many a times uh, innovation is a myth that it has to be only in the research of a product. I have slightly different view on that, that the innovation is in everything we do, every day what we do. Mm. And it includes product, uh, our methods and tools, huh? starting from the conceptualizing of the ideas. Huh? Um, so, for example, starting from, uh, you know, the market requirement, all the way to defining a specification, preconcepting, concepting, uh, you know, developing a prototype to the limited production and finally in the production uh, as well. So the innovation lies everywhere. And that is very, very important, which we are following here. So um, any ideas which are brought on the table, and that is what I like here in Idea Forge a lot, that majority of times the ideas or innovations are not only in terms of theory, but we live with practical. So a rapidly prototyping of the ideas yeah. is also very important, which we follow here. So the turnaround time of those innovative ideas up to launch of the product is quite fast and quite balanced uh, mm -hmm. relatively. When I say I compare with the other product companies, either I am exposed or experienced with or I know about. Awesome. Okay, so moving on to the last segment of the podcast. Sandeep, looking ahead, what excites you the most about the future of IdeaForge and how do you envision your role contributing to that? So as we already know, IdeaForge is the market leader in uh, UAV products and is best in class in terms of performance, reliability and autonomy of our products, right? But what's really exciting for me uh, looking ahead is that we are innovating not just in products that we are delivering, but also in terms of the business models that uh, we are proposing. So for example, uh, our drone as a service concept is very popular with our customers who want to leverage the benefits of the high quality data that our drones provide uh, without having to worry about the operation and maintenance aspects of flying the drones, right? So this is a really uh, breakthrough uh, business model for us. Uh, similarly, the flight cloud platform that we are uh, developing provides a one-stop end-to-end solution for automating the entire journey from drone data acquisition to data storage to processing, analytics, and insight generation and reporting for the customer. So being part of this journey uh, of, the, of developing the UAV ecosystem further into delivering these best-in-class solutions, which encompass hardware, electronics, software, services, and integrated solutions and leveraging my expertise in scaling these kinds of systems and complementing them with the right kind of AI-driven insights and analytics to take them uh, further to the next level is something that I'm really excited to be part of. Awesome. Sunil, uh, what opportunities for growth and innovation can new joiners expect if they become the part of the IdeaForge family? That's a real good question. Um, um, IdeaForge, as you know, is leader in, uh, in domestic market and also third globally. Uh, so, um, so, and being deep tech product based company, uh, which has multidisciplinary, as I mentioned, multi physics uh, uh, topics uh, for the product. So, any new joiner when comes to us, get an opportunity to contribute in real multidisciplinary topics of a flying object. So as you know, 
working on a flying object is always a passion uh, and motivation for every new joiner. And that is what we hear from them as well. Um, the ideas which they bring with a high level of energy, motivation and passion are not only on the, on the concept paper, but also they are able to realize immediately uh, inside the proto lab which we have. We follow the rapid prototyping approach and we have in-house uh, know-how of those techniques and technologies, which is really an opportunity for the new joiners, huh? that you get exposed to all these phases of product development, um, uh, be it a platform UAV uh, products or, um, or a feature development uh, 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 products and working on that as a part of a uh, uh, product development team is really a great opportunity. So what they, uh, what they get an idea on a piece of paper, they prepare the uh, design concepts through sketching and all the uh, engineering concepts, they prototype it, they validate and verify, and it gets released. And as a new joiner, when you see your thoughts gets into reality in the form of a product, which is flying in the air, what more aspiring uh, and uh, motivating could it be for the for the newcomers in in the organization thank you so much sandeep and sunil for sharing your incredible journeys and experiences with us your uh, passion for innovation and leadership is truly inspiring to our listeners if you are seeking a workplace that champions growth collaboration and cutting edge innovation idea forge might just be the place for you stay tuned for more inspiring conversations and stories in our next episode of the idea forge podcast until then, take care and keep innovating.